everyone. I am finally going to change my newborn size reborns into their navy and white outfits. And you guys might be puzzled because they are all wearing different outfits than when you last, last saw them. As you recall, I changed, I had changed all three of them into um, some of the new outfits I got from Children's Salon, um, but I felt like the two outfits that Maddie and Clara were wearing were just a little bit big. The one on Indy fit perfectly, but Indy is like my cuddle baby. She's um, like the perfect size to snuggle, and so I changed her back into a sleeper. So that's why these guys are wearing um, the sleepers, but um, I just wanted to hop on, shoot a video changing them, and also discuss a topic um, to answer a question that I've, been, that I've gotten on a couple of my videos around, um, uh, around like what is your family, what do your family and friends think about your hobby? So um, yes, yeah, so let me go ahead and get started changing and I'll chat with you guys while I do this. Um, so Indy, I am going to change her into, um, into this outfit. I think this will look really cute on her. <laughs> I had a lot of hard, I had a really hard time deciding what each of them was going to wear. Um, so anyway, the outfits are going to be this one for Indy. I'm going to change Maddie into this one. And then Clara is going to wear this, um, this outfit from Janie and Jack. So can't wait. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, and I, uh, I haven't been in, um, oh, and I just wanted to thank you guys for those of you guys who are not into the Love of <laughs> Love of Bella dolls. Uh, I know I posted a lot of videos about those dolls recently. So thanks so much for bearing with me because I know, um, that's not everyone's cup of tea, <laughs> but I just, you know, this is just kind of reflective of our household right now. My daughter and I, especially my daughter, have just been so into those dolls. They're so fun. So if you haven't checked out those videos, definitely check them out. Um, it was really funny to take them to Disneyland as well, or take one of them to Disneyland. Anyway, so for those of you guys who are a little bit newer to my channel, this is Indy, and she was, um, she has painted hair. She's painted by Emily's Dream Dolls, um, and I purchased her off of Doll Fan. And, oh, and I, I didn't realize Indy still has a regular diaper. I need to get her a cloth one. <laughs> um, oh, and you guys might be wondering, why do I choose Pampers? Because I know Honest Brands are really, really cute. Like, they have super cute designs. The reason I choose Pampers, um, well, number one, my kids wore these, wore this brand when they were newborn, so it's very sort of nostalgic for me. But then also, um, I was watching, I think it was in one of Jen, Jen from Creative Newborns. She had a live chat. A bunch of us were um, kind of chatting. I think it was the video where she was getting ready to go to the IDTNS doll show. And she had, um, she had a couple of dolls who had been wearing, I think it might have been Honest Brand, you guys. So just be a little careful about how long the diaper stays on your doll. Um, you know, she had been wearing the Honest Brand diapers. I'm oh, sorry, her doll has been wearing the Honest Brand diapers, and then um, they fa she found some. It left some sticky residue, and um, and then I was like, "Yikes!" <laughs> so anyway, so it just kind of helped reinforce my decision to to use Pampers. But but probably a lot of you guys haven't had that experience, and if so, that's great. But um, that definitely made me a little bit more cautious. But but in general, as, as you all know, I, I like to, um, I like to use cloth diapers on my, on my dolls just in general. So, so anyway, um, but yeah, to answer the question about what my family thinks about my, my hobby, um, yeah, let me start with my husband. So um, first of all, I've always been a doll collector. So ever since I was like a little girl, I collected dolls. Um, I remembered in high school, and I don't know if those of you guys who grew up in like the, you know, 80s and 90s, like um, I used to watch like QVC and the shopping channel, and they used to sell like all sorts of um, 
dolls, <laughs> like porcelain dolls on, on, on the channel. And, and I, and I was like in high school and stuff, but like, you know, I had my own money that, you know, I earned from, you know, getting, um, earned from allowance and various things. And I would buy these porcelain dolls. And then I remembered also collecting, oh my gosh, you guys, um, this is so cute on Indie. I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Okay. I can't wait to see them all together. Um, I'm basically trying to like change all my babies into like the outfit I want them to be in for when I do my whole collection video. So anyway, oh, this is so adorable. Oh, Indy says, hi aunties. <laughs> all right. So let me go ahead and put her right here. Let's go ahead and oops, hang out there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get Maddie. Maddie is the angel sculpt by Bonnie Steven. Oh, okay. So sorry, I, I digressed. But um, basically, I so I collected those porcelain dolls. I also collected Madame Alexander dolls. And of course, um, they didn't have very many American Girl dolls back then, but I had Kirsten. My two sisters had Samantha and Molly. And um, yeah, American Girl was definitely like a brand that I, you know, just, yeah, Amer I, I love, we loved our American Girl dolls. Um, so, so that was me as a child, always had dolls. They didn't, um, I remember thinking to myself when I was 12, um, like, oh, you know, wouldn't it be cool if they had a realistic, like a really realistic looking baby doll, like one that could like wear baby, you know, real baby clothes. And, uh, the dolls back then, they just all kind of looked like play dolls. I didn't end up buying a baby doll, um, back then, but if Reborns had been around, you guys, oh my gosh, I would have just <laughs> fallen in love. So, um, and I, I just changed, um, Maddie out of her, um, this is a little me sleeper. I love little me. This is like what my daughter wore and my son wore when they were babies. Um, so anyway, so that was kind of, that's just kind of me as a doll collector. So my family has always known me to be someone who loves dolls. And then as I grew older and I got into my twenties, um, my, you know, I, I hadn't met my husband, um, until I was like, you know, in my late twenties, but basically I'm like kind of giving away my age here, you guys, <laughs> but, um, but basically I, um, you know, I got back into collecting American girl dolls. I think it was like, I think it was during, you know, when I was in my mid twenties and I had gone, you know, I was in New York for like an internship and um and I walked into the American Girl doll store on like I think it's on oh my gosh on Fifth Avenue Fifth Avenue and 49th maybe I can't even remember but anyway it was what it was a flag one of their flagship stores and I and keep in mind you know they I think they had one already in LA but I had like not been before um and I walked in and was just like Oh my gosh, <laughs> um, my jaw just dropped seeing all the, just the display that, you know, the cafe, they had the cafe, they had, um, all, you know, just, just, if you guys haven't been to an American Girl doll store, it is really something. Next time we go, I'm going to film a video for you all. Um, so so that was really, really cool. Just kind of seeing the American Girl doll store and I kind of fell back in love with the dolls again and I bought my first one and then just kind of started collecting them from there and um, kind of each year would buy, I, I bought a lot of the girls of the year and all of that. So, um, so I had a few, I actually didn't have like a ton of them when my husband and I met each other and I, and I wasn't like actively participating with my doll hobby very much, but so, um, so then fast forward, you know, we get married, um, and I think maybe about, um, and, and then probably the first year or two of our marriage, I was, I definitely kind of was really into collecting the American Girl dolls. I probably had like 10 of them. <laughs> um, and, and they're not the same 10, um, that you guys saw in my recent, uh, collection video about American Girl. So they're, um, they were different dolls. And then we moved and I ended up selling a bunch of them at a garage sale, um, which in retrospect might not have been like the best move. I probably should have just put them on eBay. I would have done a lot better, but, 
Um, anyway, I, I kind of really dislike the hassle of like buying and selling things. But anyway, so this is Maddie. She looks really cute in this, you guys. Oh, and these outfits, um, oh gosh, I already forgot the name of the brand. They are by May, oh, hold on. Oh, Mayoral. Mayoral is the brand. Aw, so here she is. So lovely. I'm, oh my gosh, I, kind of, I love the idea of them all matching. Okay, and then finally, I'm going to change Clara. Clara is wearing her um, little me sleeper with a little teddy bear on it. I'm going to go ahead and change her into the Jamie and Jack outfit. So, anyway, so then I discovered Reborns and, um, you know, you know, bought bought my first few, and my husband's reaction initially was like, I think we might got my first first one, and it was the Lotus Sculpt by Adri Stout. Um, I remember I bought her off of eBay, and um, I named her Kylie. <laughs> Still really like that name. I might have to reuse it for one of my dolls. Um, yeah, she she was a she was a really cute doll. She's actually the same sculpt as Baby Natalie. You guys who have are familiar with that story um baby baby natalie is um yeah is the lotus sculpt and it's a very old sculpt from like oh i don't know probably like nine years ago or something like that it was very popular um but yeah my husband was always like not a fan of the dolls like but he you know he didn't like ever express like, oh, you know, I, I prefer you not to collect them or anything like that. He was not really, and I think that the, um, the first few dolls that I got, like, I don't know, maybe that it was something with the hair rooting or something like that. Or, um, the second sculpt I got was the Lee Hua sculpt. And, um, yeah, my, my husband just really didn't like that sculpt <laughs> at all. Um, but you know, he, he never like stopped me from collecting them. He was just always kind of like, you know, we, and, and then when I wasn't playing with them, I actually had them wrapped up in blankets and in a Moses basket, you know, in, in the closet. So they were sort of hidden from view. So they weren't like just out there displayed. But anyway, my, um, my immediately, my immediate family didn't really know about the dolls. I didn't really share or, or friends. I didn't share with anybody that I had these dolls. Um, and it's, and so, yeah, so that was that. And then, um, as you guys probably know, you know, after my, after I got pregnant with my daughter, um, and, and then later on we, um, decided to move. I ended up, um, you know, I ended up like, you know, donating actually all of the, all of the reborns that I had. And it was also around that same time that I got the silicone babies and, um, and my husband did think the silicones, like the portrait sculpt silicones of my daughter are pretty cool. And he was like, wow, that is, and he actually even commented, I remembered because Emery May was, um, in addition right? Uh, she was the first one that came out and there were 25 of her. And I would show him pictures of that the ladies on Dollfan would post. And I think it was also around that time I got into watching YouTube and um, discovered, um, discovered, uh, you know, kind of reborns on YouTube. And, you know, I, I remember watching Stephanie's channel because she had an Emery May at one point and, and um, Hello, Melissa Sue, and she had Zara. So anyway, um, my husband did think it was like, really weird that like all these people out there have a portrait sculpt of our daughter and cause he would like look and he'd go, Oh my gosh, that's Audrey. You know, <laughs> when we'd be watching these videos and I'd show him videos that ladies would on doll fan would post of, um, their Emery Mays. And so that was really fun. I mean, it was, he, he didn't mind. He just thought, he thought it was like kind of cool and, and that was that. And, you know, but still at that point, it was really just my husband who knew about the hobby. I started becoming a little bit more, um, a little less shy about my hobby just when I got back into collecting this go around. It's just really since like sort of December, January, um, you know, you know, December, you know, earlier, I guess, I guess late last year, earlier this year, um, I first kind of really got back into paradise galleries. Well, first of all, I mainly because of the affordability factor. I thought, well, they're going to be a lot cheaper than, um, reborns. And, um, and yeah, maybe I, you know, I, I was, I kind of had that craving to get back into collecting dolls again. So I thought, I thought, okay, well, why don't I just, why don't I just go for paradise galleries? And I was like, I won't buy a reborn. Um, you know, I'll just, 
um, cause I have my silicone babies. That's enough. You know, I'm not going to buy a reborn. <laughs> and so I got into, so I got paradise galleries, dolls. I got a whole bunch and then, um, but I was stalking eBay like daily looking at the reborns. And finally I caved and I was like, you know what? I have to get a Saskia and I caved and I bought, um, Jenna, who is my Saskia with rooted hair. You guys have seen her on some of my videos. And then in short order, I ended up getting uh, Connor and Evelyn and Clara and um, Emily and then and then Maddie and then Indy. So it just kind of kept going. And then Natalie. So it kind of kept going from there. Um, so I've collected Fast and Furious over the last few months. Um, my mom does come over and, you know, occasionally to help babysit the kids. And, you know, obviously she's, she's seen, um, my dolls and, you know, she, she's not a doll. She's not really a doll person, you know, a big doll person herself, but she doesn't mind them. And she remembers that when I collected them when I was young and I, and I also felt that it was more, a little more socially acceptable somehow to share about my hobby since I started painting. I don't know why that is you guys. I, I really truly think we should all be confident in, you know, who we are and what we enjoy. But I know this is a hobby that is a little, it's not a mainstream hobby. Like, you know, if you just, if you told people that you knitted or cross stitched or liked, enjoyed sewing clothes or, you know, something like that, those are all like maybe a little bit, you know, you know, a little bit more socially acceptable because I feel like with reborns, um, the reactions can be sort of polarizing. Um, anyway, here is Clara. Let me just show show her to you guys. She's looking so cute. Oh my gosh, I love these. I love them in their outfits. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually put them all three on um, on this, and I'm gonna need to do some pictures, you guys. This is like too cute. I've been so bad about taking photos ever since I got into making videos. So I need to get back into doing that because I. Um, and I'll just hold this and show you guys. Look how cute they are. <laughs> um, and anyway, sorry to kind of keep going back and forth. I guess it's kind of hard to change babies and then talk about a topic too. So, but um, anyway, oh, they're so cute. I love it. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, so just to kind of finish my thought on that. Yeah, it, it just, it was really like, so I've told like my sisters, I've told, um, I've actually shown my dolls to a few of my, um, friends, you know, who kind of have, had come over to visit. Um, one friend who came over recently, I only showed the dolls that I painted. Um, and then there's another friend, um, who I did show some of the ones I collected and she immediately was like, Oh my gosh, this is crazy. She didn't want to hold them. She was kind of freaked out by the realism, but she did take a picture and send it to her husband. <laughs> she was like, look at this, like in just kind of in awe. So everyone's reaction. I mean, I've, I haven't gotten any like negative reactions. Like, you know, I, I actually, let me take that back. I have had comments, um, from, you know, like my sisters or from friends who, you know, said, Oh gosh, I think those are kind of creepy and it's just too real looking. And I totally get that. Like I, I remember the, the feeling when I first, um, like opened, um, my very first reborn and took her out of the box. Like it was so weird. Cause I felt like I was, it felt like there's a real baby in the box. Like I, I really <laughs> felt that way. And it was so, um, unnerving in a way to like take a baby, um, you know, to, to take a, you know, baby that looks so realistic out of a box. Like I remember that feeling. So, so yeah, so my, my, my immediate family, you know, they're, um, you know, they, you know, oh, my, my sister did see the silicones. I think I actually posted a picture on Dolphin of her son next to my two silicone babies, but she was like, she was, she was really like, whoa. Cause I, and I think that the silicones look realistic on like a different level. So, um, so yeah, but my husband now is like totally desensitized to the realism of these babies. You know, he totally went to the doll show and, um, he was such a trooper cause you know, dolls are really like not his thing at all. He's not planning to go next year. Um, but next year I think we'll go with my, um, my mom and Audrey. So it'll be a, like a girl's um, kind of like a girl's event, I guess, if you will. So that'll be great. But yeah, I guess people have been generally pretty supportive. And I think that, you know, since I paint them, you know, they're, they're kind of amazed that you, you know, that, 
at the process of painting, like one of my friends who was in town recently and we got together, I had told her the last, she, she lives up in the Bay Area and I had told her on my last trip when we had gotten together that I had, I had a new hobby. I'd started, um, you know, getting into collecting and painting these dolls. And she was like, she was like, oh, wow. She's like, so when, so when she came down um, and we were like, out to dinner she's like oh I forgot to ask if you would bring one of your dolls I, I, I really am curious to see and we happen to have baby Megan with us because um, Audrey had brought her along so I showed her baby Megan and she was she was like amazed at how like realistic and and just the the feel and the weight of the baby and she started and it's so cute she, she was like holding the baby burping it like basically cradling it and holding it like a real baby and so um so anyway, and then, and then she and her husband like asked me so many questions on like the process of making one of these dolls and like, where do you get the kits? You know, um, what do you use to paint them and, and stuff like that. But everybody's been pretty amazed at, um, just at the fact that I was able to, you know, sell my first baby and actually, um, that, you know, there's a market out there of, you know, there's buyers and collectors who love these babies and, um, want to purchase them, you know, so. So anyway, that's, so that is my, um, kind of answer to that question about, you know, what do your family and friends think about your hobby? I, um, yeah, I've been lucky so far that most have been pretty supportive and, but there's no one else in my immediate circle who's like really into these dolls the way that I am. So that's, that's a big reason that I decided to, you know, really join, um, you know, kind of stop being just a spectator on YouTube and just kind of jump in and start making videos. And, um, and also kind of finally, I, I, I had a doll fan membership, but I had like never posted like not even once. And so I was a closet collector for so many years and then just started posting earlier this year. And, and then, you know, of course getting, you know, involved in Facebook as well. Um, I'm, I, I have a hard time keeping up with all the social media outlets. Like for example, I do have an Instagram account, I don't do anything with it. I confess. Um, and sometimes I feel a little overwhelmed by all the social media, but anyway, I have been really enjoying just being a part of the community and, um, and just, yeah, to thank you guys all for just being in this hobby with me for watching my videos, you know, and yeah, just my, um, yeah, just, I wanted to show you these three girls. Um, and, oh, I don't think I said earlier, but um, Maddie here on the far right, she is the Angel Sculpt by Bonnie Steven. She was painted uh, by Melissa George. And then Clara here in the middle, you know, you guys probably saw her in all the doll show videos. Um, she is a Levi Sculpt um, by Bonnie Brown and also painted by Melissa George. And then Indy is Indy by Laura Lee Eagles. Um, and she was painted by um, Emily's Dream Dolls. So... Um, but I think they look adorable in these outfits. I don't think I will be changing them out of these outfits anytime soon. It's kind of like how I felt Maggie is still wearing her, you know, little folk, uh, dress <laughs> with, um, with the bloomers. She hasn't changed out of that. Uh, a lot of my, um, a lot of my babies are still in the outfits you saw them last. And so, yeah, and that's kind of the cool thing, you know, when you find that like perfect outfit, but, um, I love children's salon, you guys. I'm going to have to, at some point, I'll, 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 I'll probably keep, um, checking their site and, um, and, you know, posting videos again, but yeah, this is, this is interesting. This Janie and Jack one is a zero to three month size, but it, I think it runs a little small because Clara is a true newborn. So when I saw it, I was like, you know, I think that'll fit my newborn, newborn babies. I do think their clothes run a little bit smaller. So just a heads up. Um, anyway, guys, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I am back to making videos about my reborns again. So thank you for, um, for those who are not into the love of Bella, love of bow dolls. Thank you for just kind of, uh, being patient until I got back to my reborns. Um, I can already tell for me, um, you know, we still, still really love the dolls, but I've, you know, I'm, the hype for me has died down a little bit, but like my daughter plays with those dolls like every day. And so it really is obviously meant for a child's toy, but I, I really do. Um, I, I do enjoy the dolls too. They, they are a lot of fun. So, 
um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And, you know, I have a very diverse collection, so let me know, you know, if you guys want to see more videos of my Paradise Gallery stalls or more, more videos on the American Girls or, um, you know, what, like what, what would you enjoy seeing more of? And I, and I, and I keep saying this, but I do want to do my collection video at some point as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Have a wonderful day.